Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play This War of Mine. We are, uh, we've just survived the first night and we're going to cook some lovely meals over here with uh, our good cook. Is it Marco? I think it's Marco. Is it Pavle? I think it's Marco. So we have some vegetables and we have some raw food and now we're going to make some food over here. Yeah, Bruno, sorry. Bruno is going to make some food. Of course it's only two and all three are hungry so we're going to have to make another one. But there we go. Oh, I can't make another one before we eat this. Okay, so he'll eat this. There we go. He's eating the food. Ding! And he's not hungry anymore. Now, this is locked, I believe, right? Yes. Okay, so he'll have to go and uh, clean this. There we go. Pavle is now fine. He can go and eat as well. He slept enough. Yeah, he could really use a shovel, but we don't have one. So Pavla can go and eat. And I'll show you now. If you remember last time, we try we cooked stuff with Bruno. And he only used one firewood for one uh, food. But because Pavla is not a good cook, he's not very experienced, he uses two firewood for this. And even more water for this one. If you remember with Bruno, it was only five water. And I believe one firewood for this. So that was quite nice. Uh, so he's not going to be cooking. He's going to be making stuff if I have the ingredients. Now we can make a radio. It would be great to listen to current news and weather forecasts. We could be better prepared to deal with hardships if we knew about them well in advance. When there's nothing on the news, we can listen to music and brighten up our mood. That will use up all of our parts. But I can make another one of these. I will make a radio, I think. And I will place it over here. There we go. Now, where are my cigarettes? Yeah, he wants cigarettes. Damn, this is locked as well. Everything is locked. Did we already check that? No, we didn't. Let's check it. Oh, it's also locked. Bloody hell. We need more lockpicks. And we have no bandages, no medicine, no anything. No nothing. So... There really is an, uh, isn't anything we can do at the moment. We have no parts to make another filter for the... Um, for the water. But I will make another uh, fuel. Another unit of fuel and make one more unit of food. Well, one more meal. With Bruno, because he's a good cook. I always use Bruno if I have him. Because another one of us has to eat, obviously. And he's sleeping. Right, let's uh, listen to the radio. The rebel leader instructed us to warn the listeners not to cross the front line. Failure to comply could result in death. Let's see what else we can find. Classical music. The upcoming day should still be nice and warm. Perfect for a stroll in the park. Excellent. Nothing here. Despite desperate counterattacks by the rebels trying to lift the siege of Pogoran, the city remains cut off. Government forces do not allow any aid to reach the city, claiming it would end up in rebel hands. So we're not getting anything. Let's have music. Maybe they'll lift our moods, I don't know. Because in the beta, moods weren't really an issue, I believe. Well, unless people died and so on. But over here, I think you can actually have moods and such. So, wait, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. You're not the one hungry. The one that's sleeping is hungry. Right, so we can't really do anything else at the moment, unfortunately. We don't have the materials. Everything that still has stuff is locked. So, uh, we'll just have to wait. There's food ready for, uh, for him when he wakes up. Marco. Oh, he's already... Fine, he's not tired anymore. Get up. My stomach is rumbling. Yeah, go and eat. Because it's almost uh, the end of the day. In the beta, they woke up on the, by themselves, but now apparently some of them do, some of them don't. Maybe because he was slightly sick. Maybe it actually helps to be in bed if he's slightly sick. I don't know. I will actually have him uh, sleep more. And Bruno as well, because he's slightly wounded. Yeah. Because before in the beta, they just said, I'm not tired. So that could be... That could be a thing. 
it could help, as I said, if they're sick or ti uh, sick or wounded, that it helps if they sleep or rest. Right, I'm just going to end the day because there's nothing else we can do. Um, Marco is going to scavenge again. Pavle is going to guard and Bruno is going to sleep. So we're going back to the abandoned cottage. We do have the supermarket now. The supermarket is located in the area remaining under military control, but people are still trying to scavenge it for supplies. We can expect to meet other scavengers there, so it's probably best not to get in their way. Some doors might still be locked. A crowbar could come in handy. And we have a shelled school. The school has been shelled several times. Unfortunately, most of the cellars have collapsed, so it might be a good idea to bring a shovel <clears throat> and maybe some other tools. They say some homeless people have taken refuge inside the building. Huge amount of materials, lots of meds. <clears throat> well, I'm going here first. I want uh, lots of materials. I'm not going to take anything with me because I want as much space as possible. I am going to get that broken weapon though. Now, I don't know in the beta, this place was always empty. I don't know now if, there we go, there's a broken pistol. Um, if, you know, the random generator might actually bring looters over here. So I don't know. We're just going to get as much stuff as possible. Especially wood and parts. We really need those. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's a lot of stuff over here. Very nice. But as I said, this area is pretty, you know, nice. There's no one here, lots of loot. But in other areas, you gotta be very careful, because this game will not hold your hand. If you get in, into a bad, you know, position, you will probably die. It's, it's not easy. I'm going to get these back. I'm going to put this homegrown tobacco back and get all the sugar I can. And also water, probably. I'm going to leave the roll-up cigarette here. Now, these cigarettes and such... Oh yeah, maybe he can smoke them then, or cook. Huh. It's interesting, actually, yeah. He might be able to do that. And feel a little better. Otherwise, you can also sell them. Right, I want more parts. Because that, uh, that slot is not filled yet. So there we go. I want more parts. Now everything is filled up, as you can see, except sugar, of course, and some of these things. I don't have anything else, right? We can always come back. Oh yeah, this is locked, of course. Right, let's run to the exit. This is pretty good. A fairly good haul. I should probably just leave the weapon for now and concentrate on other things, but... Well, we'll see. We should be fine. Now today, some other things should start happening. We should start getting... Um, We've been raided. Someone came at night to take our things by force. They must have been more scary than us, so they didn't do much harm. Too bad we had no weapons. Pavle was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. Okay. Slightly wounded. Okay, that's not too bad. Right. So, you go and sleep, because you're tired. You're also tired, so you will have to get up, Bruno. Alright. Bruno. Let's see what we can make now. Of course, everyone is hungry again, so you have to eat. Right. I w obviously want to make some more filters, but we can make a moonshine still. Which, in a way, is kind of wasteful, but in a way it's great because you can sell the moonshine for other things. But you can see it's going to take a lot of stuff. 14 parts, so almost everything. Half of our wood and almost all of our... I don't know what these are some other parts, I don't know, mechanical parts. We can also make a metal workshop. Or we can upgrade... We can upgrade the workshop, which will give us other recipes and such, which is also very nice. Hmm... See, it's all these choices you have to make. You, ha you really have a very limited amount of materials available. I'm going to make the moonshine still, because with that I can really make some... Hmm, I wanted to make it, to place it over there. I'm going to place it over here. Because we can uh, sell some stuff. Sell some moonshine for other stuff with that. Of course, for that we will need water and sugar to make moonshine. It's only 18 degrees now. So, you know, this is getting a bit chilly. But the radio said it would be fine for a few days still. So we should be good. 
Now, when winter comes, that's going to be a problem. This will freeze our... Well, I'm not going to spoil everything. You'll see. Right, so we need some firewood. We're going to make one of this firewood. And actually, we might make even more. Let's see. Can we? Uh, yeah, it only uses three sugar and three water. I could actually do three moonshine things. Let's do that now. I need some water for... Uh, for the food. I'm going to take... I'm going to make two moonshine. We're lucky it's not cold in here. Yeah, but it probably will get. Right. So let's make two moonshines. <clears throat> that will also take time. I will make another filter. And get some more water. Alright. Let's make... Oh, I can't. I don't have the stuff. Okay, let's make two firewood so we can make the food. Oh, I will need three firewood, actually, I think, because I don't have vegetables. And that will use up all of our food now. Bloody hell. We'll need to go to the... We'll need to go to the store. Yeah. If I try to cook food now... Oh, there's someone in the door. Yeah, I will need three. Um... Oh, I don't even have enough water for two. Bloody hell. That's not good. I shouldn't have made that moonshine. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go hungry. I don't want to eat raw food. It's not as nutritious. <clears throat> have a look at what I brought. Well, that's trading. Right, so this is our things, and what do you want? This is Franco. He's got medicine, but of course you don't have to show me a lot in exchange. Oh, this is different. In the beta, he said, you, you'll have to give me a lot for this. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, that's what he's saying. You'd have to show me a lot in exchange. It would cost you. There's canned meat. There's cigarettes. Quite common. Um, there's coffee. You can have it for almost nothing. There's medicine. And, of course, medications are very expensive. Uh, he's got lockpicks. Hmm. What can I buy two lockpicks for what? I don't really have any... Anything really that I would want to give. Maybe a cigarette. But those are quite common. Hmm. Nothing special, but not bad either. Maybe some of this. Not very interesting. Let's give him some gunpowder. Oh, these are parts. What are these then? Components, okay. Hmm. They won't do try harder. He still wants more. Well, I could give him some... There we go. We can have a deal for that. Or, I can keep the cigarette. And there. Now we can have a deal. Let's have a deal like that. I'll be here if you need anything more. Alright. Well, let's go and unlock some of the things then. See what we can find. Now, the moonshine is being produced, so if this guy will take stay long enough... I could actually sell him the moonshine as well. But doubtful. And I need more water for uh, food. Come on, I haven't got all day. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, medicine. Uh, well, bandages, not medicine. Water and some books. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm not going to complain. Now, what do we have over here? There we go. The uh, moonshine is almost complete. So that's good. Let's see what's over here. And... Bang. Ooh, medicine, water, books. Not bad, not bad. That was quite worth it. Let's get the moonshine and see if we can uh, barter it for anything. Right, and go to this guy. Now let's check the others. He's not tired anymore, see? They're not tired, so... Alright, let's see what we can uh, sell the moonshine for. What do you want for this? Well... He's got moonshine as well, but I'm not really interested in that. Right. Well, canned food is always nice. It would cost you. Raw food... I mean, canned food is even better. It's very generous of you, which means our offer is much better than his. I'm going to get food. It won't do. Try harder. 
Well, let's give him maybe some books. Okay, two books, and we have a deal. Deal. All right. Goodbye. That's it. Oh. I didn't have the right person selected. No, no, stay here. All right. I heard about aggressive groups wandering in this area. That's not good. Right, so... We don't have enough water... ...to make enough food. So somebody will have to go hungry, unfortunately. Uh, good cook. Okay, so he's going to make two food. And let's see if we can make anything else. I don't think we can. No. We have nothing. We'll have to get more... Uh, this is locked as well, isn't it? Yeah, we'll have to get more stuff. More ingredients. Right, Bruno is going to go over here. You're going to eat. And you're going to eat as well. And Bruno will go without food for today, I guess. There we go. And there's nothing else we can do, unfortunately. Don't even have enough water for another uh, moonshine. So let's end the day. Actually, let's get you into bed. Pavle. Well, we do have bandages now, but for slightly wounded, I'm not really willing to sacrifice a bandage. So let's end the day. Alright. Now. As always, Marco is going to be scavenging. You're going to be guarding, and you're going to be sleeping. Let's go to the supermarket this time, because we need food. Lots of food, meds, huge amounts of weapons, parts, and danger. So we have to be very careful. Let's go to the supermarket and scavenge. Now we have to be extremely careful. Dying can be so easy in this game. You can... I'm not alone here. Luba, you take downstairs. Got it! Oh, let's take this. Igor, you take the upstairs and the roof. Oh, they got guns. Hello? Hey, you! Should be enough for both of us, don't worry. Okay, thank you. Alright, let's go and uh, scavenge then. Hopefully we can get some good things. Now the problem is, in the beta, for some reason, they actually went aggressive and attacked me afterwards. After saying there should be enough for both of us. So I'm guessing they saw me looting some really good stuff or something, I don't know. Okay, I also don't want to make too much noise, because it seems to piss them off a bit, if you do it. <clears throat> Let's see what's over here. But yeah, we gotta be careful. I'm just going to grab everything for now. And at one point, he's just gonna tell me to, you know, get out. Come on, we don't really want this. What's up here? Well, he's going to be looking through that. Don't mess with me. I won't. Don't worry. Damn, I was hoping for food. Are they taking everything already? Maybe I should check downstairs. <clears throat> See if there's something here. Yeah, they've all got weapons. Well, more cigarettes, I mean... We can use it to trade, so it's not too bad. Lots of tobacco. There's a bed here. <clears throat> Doesn't really help me. Uh-oh. Now I'm... Now I am... Between two people. Let's get out of here. Let's find some more if we can. I found no food. They must have taken everything. You don't want to cause trouble here. I've got my eye on you. Yeah, I know. I think they shot me when I get, got over here, so I don't know if this is their place or something. Right, let's see. Um, I'm going to put this back and take this. Can I take this? 
Oh, there's more electronic parts. That's not too bad. Now, I'm, I almost don't want to go over here because last time they shot me. Excellent. Anything else over here? No, not really. Can I go up here? Apparently I can. Where does that lead? Probably out. Yep. Let's see. Uh, I kind of have some more stuff. I got some vegetables, so that's not too bad. Let's see what that says. Did they leave? No, nope, they're still... Uh-oh. They're running. That's not good. Uh, a faded leaflet with a skull and crossbones reads, Danger. Do not uh, touch unexploded ammunition. Any weapons, ammunition, or equipment left behind or unexploded may be booby-trapped. Do not touch anything. Do not risk severe injury or death. Report any such finds to the nearest army outpost. <sighs> well, that guy is running. I don't know why. He might be on to me or something. I, don't, I have no idea why. So we'll have to get out of here fast next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.